Elmendorf is also home to a detachment of airborne warning and control airplanes, better known as the E-3 AWACS. Its huge dome is able to scan hundreds of miles of airspace, picking up everything from high-flying bombers to low-flying cruise missiles. They're a big asset to Alaskan Air Command. AWACS combined with the ROC uh, gives us total coverage of our area responsibility. And then there's the tanker fleet. Air crews rely on the flying gas stations to extend their range and time on station as long as necessary to do the job. It's a huge area. We've got more coastline than, uh, than uh, any other state. In fact, we've got more coastline than the United States as a whole uh, added up. Uh, that plus the proximity uh, to the Soviet Union makes it a, a real challenge. And it all culminates at the moment when the bear is finally sighted. The moment of truth makes the heart race a bit faster. This is like no bear hunt you've ever seen in your life, and the stakes are much higher than a trophy on the wall. The eagles take a close and careful look. In this case, it's a Bear H, the cruise missile carrying variety. And don't let the turboprops fool you. It can move right along. Uh, it's an older type looking aircraft, a turboprop, but uh, it can move right along at about 0.8 miles. So being a fighter, we do have to slow down a little bit, but not, uh, not too much. The Eagle's drivers scan every inch of the bomber, looking for telltale signs of any new capability the Soviets may have added. But the encounters are not without their human side as well. Normally here in the wing, we're just doing our, our mission. We'll intercept them, take the pictures, and just observe them. But uh, oh yeah, we see them wave. I've seen Coke cans. I saw one guy hold up a Newsweek magazine. And uh, I think they get uh, as much a thrill as we do. The cat and mouse game can go on for hours, but soon it's time to break off and head back to King Salmon or Galena or perhaps another of the far-flung outposts of the 21st Tactical Fighter Wing. As we've seen, it takes the efforts of many people to make it all work. What looks easy to the average person is actually a consequence of practice and determination to succeed. In fact, that's part of the attraction for the pilots to begin with. I can't, uh, I can't deny that flying an airplane is uh, fun. It's an exciting thing to do. Flying the F-15 is, is that much more exciting. It's a wonderful aircraft. It's a wonderful mission. Uh, but in truth, uh, the thing that, that I stay in for is, uh, 
is the camaraderie, the professionalism, uh, duty, honor, country, all those things. And most of these fellows feel the same way. I enjoy all of it. Uh, well, I'm glad uh, we make the F-15 because it's, it's quite a machine. I like working with the people. It, uh, it's just a, a great job. And they sure don't pay me to fly the F-15s and all the additional duties that we get paid for. But it's a you know, great machine, good mission, and a great bunch of people.